let's give a huge
in 2013, there was an increase in the number of Americans who were deployed to Afghanistan, and that was due to national economic stability. Because of this, different organizations that were originally dependent on America, they are taking the money now that was given to America when they brought in the military, and through these organizations, either Medicaid or government assistance to their communities. According to an article on NPR.org, written by Jim Edwards, together with Edward Before the funding of Planned Parenthood, quote, people were paid five hundred per school kit in every state and five hundred and fifty dollars a year for health insurance. Now it seems like the government is no longer going to share all of that money with the people of states and people who are in um, the state and the local state and county that need that money. Because the money has been taken away from Planned Parenthood and America can no longer assist the Planned Parenthood as they were able to do, according to Planned Parenthood.org, quote, the income rising of Women now have to find clinics on their own. They have to find doctors who specialize in the areas that they're looking for. They have to make sure that the clinics that they go to have the services that they have, and they have to make sure that they can afford their rent. They are pregnant. In conclusion, today I inform you about the connection between the money Planned Parenthood and health insurance for over 379 million people who are receiving it on a capital and a monthly level. I also inform you about working people and how they came to funding Planned Parenthood. One million women are born without health insurance right now, and they rely on Planned Parenthood. Since Planned Parenthood has been funded, we are still paying for them. What will happen?